Hey guys, so yeah, Solo Descent finally happened, making the entirety of Deepstone Crypt soloable. In this video, I'm going to explain the method and mechanics of the slow man to try to reduce the confusion around the original clear video. To preface, this video is going to be made assuming you know the mechanics of regular descent, as the solo gets complicated and I will not be adding the regular mechanics to this explanation. This strat is formed around two bugs, the first of which is that when you finish her using certain finishers, and then stand completely still, you'll be put into a joining allies state. The second bug is that when you join allies while the balls are spawning, the middle two ball spawns are prevented from spawning the ball. Now, onto the strat itself. To start every round, I check each ball spawn while in the process of quickly suppressing. I do this to determine how I will do my finisher on the far right. There are three things that I'm looking for. If I see that the far left ball is the deactive one, I can just suppress as fast as possible, and then do a finisher on the right. If the three leftmost balls are all active, I can do the same thing. Both of these cause the two middle balls to despawn, leaving just the one. However, if one of the two middle balls is deactive, I have to make a minor adjustment. Using Seraph rounds, I push an add into the far right ball spawn area, finisher it, and then pick up the ball as I am joining allies, causing it to disappear along with the remaining middle one. There are discrepancies in this, however, where in rare cases, balls that should have despawned don't, or ones that should have stayed do despawn. However, what I have described is accurate in the vast majority of cases. After suppressing and despawning two of the three balls, I run over to the remaining one, proc my current scenes off of an add, and run to bank it in the middle. On the first dunk, this bank is a guess, and there is a two-thirds chance for it to be correct on the left, and a five-sixths chance for it to be correct on the right. After this round, however, Scanner will be broken, as there are nukes that respawn but never dunked, leaving them in limbo, therefore keeping a box open for them. When these broken spots are added to the regular three boxes, all boxes are active and any box will now work for any dunk. This process of suppressing and slamming is repeated 18 times, and boom, solo descent is done. However, 18 rounds is very difficult, so I found a way to shorten it, but this is where things start to get a bit more complicated. This alternate method can only happen when the three farthest right nukes are the active ones, and the operator vandal is alive on the far right, and it's after the first round. If these conditions are satisfied, then an operator round can happen. In an operator round, instead of doing a finisher, you bank the suppressor buff, pick up the operator buff, and shoot the far right panel. After this, you have to pick up and slam both of the middle two nukes, and this is hugely important for two different reasons. The first is the obvious one. Two balls are being slammed instead of one, progressing the encounter twice as much as a normal round. However, this also makes another big thing happen. If one of these operator rounds occurs during the first six rounds of the encounter, it makes the light associated with the round number only need two balls to light up instead of the usual three. This is because only two balls are spawned, therefore the game is only expecting these two, and because the game is not prepared for balls to not be slammed, the characteristics of this round are assigned to the light associated with the number rather than the light currently active. A great example to illustrate my point is in my clear, where on round 6 I get an operator round and then on the final light of the encounter I only slam 2 balls to complete the encounter. And with that information, that's it. That's all that you need to complete the encounter. It is absurdly hard, frustrating, and time consuming, but it is possible, and honestly, it's not the least fun challenge I've ever done. I can't say I would exactly recommend it, but if anyone is looking for a challenge this definitely fits that description. So anyway, thanks for watching. And feel free to comment any questions or criticisms you may have, as this is my first time doing a video like this, and I kind of don't know what I'm doing. A spliced together full solo clear vid will be coming soon, so subscribe or check my channel if you're interested in that. And bye, see you next time there's an obscure low man to complete.